All right, just going to get this out the way because this is a super, really big, important announcement when it comes down to it, which is that I started a GoFundMe. And basically, I just wanted to do this because this mortgage is whooping our ass, this utility is whooping our ass in the worst possible way. And at the end of the day, I just don't want to see my mom keep going through all this struggling nonsense that she's been going through since 2009 and have never found relief so if you can honestly help and donate through that that will be appreciated and that will be the most life-changing thing if we can actually hit the goal of 100k that's a lot of money i'm aware of this it is but at the very same time if that can actually help give some relief then that'll mean a lot so if you can get that going please do and I will also put that in the description in the comment section below. I'm just trying to do some thinking around, right? And when it comes down to it, I was just like, yo, I need to get my girls popular, right? I would like to see people's reaction to, you know, Blue or Symphony or pretty much any of the other OC female characters that I created. But how do we do that? And I remember seeing somebody, you know, answering this question a long time ago in the community post. I can't remember which one. But basically they were just like, make Gentai content. And so that got me thinking, that is basically like the only way for people to get popular, isn't it? Because really think about it for 10 seconds, people really just like some thick ass women or some fine ass women or women that actually is just like, damn, I need this in my life for real when it comes down to it, even though you know damn well you can't control any of that shit. That's how some people be like when it comes to power. Kobeni, Makima, you know, y'all yeah, saying, oh, oh, we want some of that shit, but then, you know, you don't want any of the day of consequences that actually come with those women, so, you know, you might not necessarily want that. I know some of y'all will not handle Power's funky ass. Let's just keep that a stack. But let's be real here, though. If Chainsaw Man were to come out and the story was a solo story about, you know, Denji and the Chainsaw Man thing, and all that sort of stuff, but no Makima, no Power, no Kaveni, none of the female characters that we know, or it could be generic characters that doesn't nearly do it as, you know, Makima and them does. When it comes down to it, do you really think people are gonna watch that show? Not really, because at the end of the day, people like the anime elitists that be so high keen and think they know everything about anime, then yeah, they're gonna watch it, they're gonna give it a high score. But when it comes down to it though, you know, many people are not going to watch that shit. Honestly, you can kind of gauge popularity by just simply looking at the first three pages of Rule 34. See how much new content gets put up one day and then see what happens the second day and see what happens, you know, time and time again after that, right? Some days there might be some movement, honestly. There might be three pages worth of movement. Then you might have days where there ain't much movement, like maybe one or two pictures or something. And then come back with that same movement again. And you can really just gauge how it kind of works, honestly. But literally, that's just how it works. Because those female characters, whether you want to believe it or not, can oftentimes, if animation doesn't do it, carry the reason as to why people will check out your show. Like, let's say, for example, Demon Slayer. Do you know why people watch Demon Slayer outside of the good animation? It's because they probably want to see more of Netsuko, or they want to see more of Shinobu, or see more of Mitsuri because her big old fat ass titties and she wants to have a family and such. So, you know, it wouldn't be too damn surprising when it comes down to it that a good chunk of people that watch Demon Slayer just give a shit about, you know, Mitsuri and want to see what NSFW artists can do with that shit. Same thing can be applied to Free Ren, right? A recent example. When it comes down to it, you know, she her show is not really anything too, too crazy, anything too wild. It's just basically feeling like a normal adventure group just doing normal adventure things. And when it comes down to it, you want to know why people are just go crazy for Free Ren and Fern? It's because of some of the stuff that the show did, but also the Gentai as well. Because you also gotta remember it too, if you're creating a show, you need people to watch your show for a certain reason, or give them a certain reason as to watch the show, which is probably the reason why they had some nice shots of Freeman's feet, or the shot of Freeman handling the whole disintegrating clothes potion stuff. So it makes a lot of sense. And once people saw that shit, and once people knew, oh, Freeman was canonically naked at some point, everybody went buck wild, honestly. And this ain't even just for like the shows that are deemed good. You can have bad shows or shows that people have forgotten about that also still, you know, get some type of recognition. Like Darling in the Franks, for example. Terrible ass show. But people will still remember Zero too. People will still remember, you know, the nonsense that she could be on. So when it comes down to it, 
is they really losing though? And I know what some VTuber might think or some female creator might think, well, I don't want to show off my body or my character's body like that because that's just not how I want to do things. And that's valid. You don't have to. And honestly, I kind of agree. I kind of wish storytelling could, you know, carry certain characters because I just don't want Symphony's story to be basically wasted or Shion's story to be, you know, essentially wasted just because people, you know, came through only to want to see one damn thing. But at the very same time, I understand that people want to see that type of thing. So that's why I also provide it. But when it comes down to it though, you have that choice of not wanting to do that. But if you really want to get there faster or at least try to get someone's attention, that would be the way. It's also the reason why, you know, the thumbnail is probably the reason why I made it so honestly. So, you know, it's not necessarily just because, oh, we're doing this just because we're doing this, but it's also there's a reason for it. And hell, if I could just take this a step further, let's expose the actual content creation game. Again, with VTubers, the reason why you see more female VTuber models than you will see male VTubers just in general is because obviously somebody is gravitated to another thing more than one other thing, right? Somebody is gravitated towards the female body then there is going to be going to, you know, the male. And there's some cool ass design male characters that's out there, but you're not going to necessarily see people gravitate to that too, too much unless they're just on some you know, K-pop male boy band type beat, which you ain't gonna really see too much of that in the damn community of V2, and honestly, or lack of community V2 in place has, honestly. Hell, to even take it a step further, look at Rev says Desu a lot of the time. Man is out here with this grizzly ass voice, to be perfectly honest, but then at the very same time, still come through with this cute anime avatar. And so when you think about clapping cheeks of that character, and you end up thinking that damn, that's a fine ass character right there, would clap again, but then that grizzly voice comes out you're just like oh hell no but when it comes down to it though you get the point the reason why he probably has a female avatar is not just because they like the character but it's also for the fact that that's what's going to draw people in which honestly maybe i need to change my effing character because maybe that's what should happen i got enough lcs to do it but when it comes down to it we'll see but anyway the point is is that for a lot of instances if you really want to make a female character or just your show to pop off or your channel to pop off in some shape and form definitely if you're down for it take your characters of the female variety mainly and just straight up let them just go ham just go wild with them now don't go super duper wild just being like spamming nothing but coochie and all that type of stuff because that won't work you gotta do it in a smart but sexy way right make people want to see more of that character and that's just how that goes you know to put it simply in the most basic sense of the terms it's all about how you represent your female characters quite literally that's all it is. But that's basically all I'm gonna really say for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, make sure you else. Also follow me on the socials so you can like to donate to the channel. Ko-Fi and Cash App is available as well, as well as the whole mortgage situation. If you'd like to go ahead and help with that, please do so and click the link in the comments. And until then, it's Boy Jay, signing off. Have a blessed day.